Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video on how to pass parameters to API calls and in this video, I'm going to show you three ways in which you can pass parameters to API calls. My name is Confident and I'm a developer advocate at AppSuite. Without further delay, let's get started. Alright, so taking a look at the application we have on the screen right here, we have a simple form that takes in a user's name and age and clicking on the submit button actually saves that user to the backend. So taking a look at the um, function we have here, we have an API for the save user action and we have the submit button linked to the action such that whenever the submit button is clicked on, we actually go to run that action and the user is saved. And over here, we have a text widget that displays the response from that API. So we have this binding here on the text widget that displays whatever parameter is sent to the API. And this is the API. It's a simple echo API. And I'll be showing you, and I'll be using this to show you how to pass parameters to API calls. So the first way to pass parameters to API calls is directly accessing the widgets in the API itself. So we have the um, two inputs here. We have input one and input two for the name and age. And in order to send that data to the API call, all you need to do is to go to the API, go to the body section, and here directly reference those inputs. So for name, you can pull in the data from input one.txt. And the same also goes for age. So for age, this can also come from input two, dot text and we can give this a test so i'm just going to say john and an age of five and clicking on the submit button you can see that we have john and age five sent up to the api so this is one way you can do it by directly accessing the widget properties from the api whenever you make that call but there are other ways in which you can do this. And the second option or the second way I'll be showing you how to do it today is using parameters to the run function. So right here, when the button is clicked on, we are running the save user action. You can actually pass this data as a parameter to the run action and have that also sent up to the API. So to show you how to configure this, I'm just going to enable JavaScript here and pass the data for the name and age as parameters to the run function. So the run function takes three um, parameters. The first is a function you want executed when the run is successful. I'm just going to pass in a blank function. The second is a function you want to run if there's an error or if it fails. I'm just going to also leave that blank. And the last one here is the data parameter to the run action. We can pass in an object that has a name and the name is going to come from input one dot text and also the age which will come from input two dot text and this looks good so all we need to do now is to head back to the save user api here and configure it to use parameters sent using the run um, action so for the body what we need to do here is to um, pull in data for the body from this dot params and we have this configured so we can go test this so for name i'm just going to say something like sam and age 10. clicking on the submit button you see that we have the name set to sam and age of 10. so we've been able to do this by using um, parameters to the run function there is a third way in which you can do this and that is using the store value function and then referencing data that has been stored in the api call so let me quickly show you how to do this for the submit button here all i need to do is to copy out or probably just cut out uh, the object and use an ify right here so i'm just going to do an ify and inside of this ify i can go to call the save action so this is going to be save user.run but before this, what I can do is to save the user's data in the absent store. So this is going to be using store value. And for the key, let's say user. And for the value, it's going to be the same as the um, object we used while doing the parameter method. So we have the object that has the name and also the age. And we can also go ahead to make use of this by heading back to the save API call. 
and for the body section what i need to do here is to reference the data from the store so this is going to be appspeed.store.user all right and we can test this out similarly so let's say cat an age of three so i'm just going to click on the submit button and you can see that um, cat was sent up with an age of three so these are three ways in which you can pass parameters to api calls and you've seen three of these methods the first was directly accessing the widget data the second is passing parameters to the run function and thirdly you can use the store value function for this as well i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions please do let us know in the comment section or you can join us on discord to discuss it all right that'll be all for this video see you next time take care bye bye